We got uh, we got Obama on the View. We got Troy Kwan admitting getting snowballed. We oh, got man. Jay-Z I talking heard about that. gay marriage that... and the economy. What show is that on? It's uh, after Opie and Anthony Live. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. He gets that clip show. It's the clip show of the Opie and Anthony show. And then uh, on the after show, they play clips and highlights from our show, right? He, oh, no, that's right. Yeah. It's a whole different show with interviews. and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the guys are now saving their best stuff for, for, right. for after we're on. It's just about, Why didn't exactly. we have Troy Kwan talking about uh, getting Troy snowballed? Troy Kwan snowballed Danny fucking fat chicks. You didn't ask him the questions. Yeah. Well, how about they tell us they got something? They don't. I, they don't tell me they have something. I just ask them questions until Sam something Dig. happens. Sam Sam gets that. You're getting some great stuff for the, for for I'm your for show. Nothing. We have for your show. We have compelling people working for this show. You just have to sit them down and talk to them. And then when I saw Lampanelli fucking giving them like props, hmm. was what, that real? Yes, yes, it was. Fuck. What What did she say? Like good job. Yeah, she said I did a good job with when we inter- when I interviewed her. Good job on in the interview. When we played that clip. And I just read that one. Oh great, that's fucking Mr. Ego is <laughs> loses shit on that one. Well, what is she gonna say? She's pretty polite. <clears throat> that's true. She has social grace. She went yeah. out of her way to say it. I just think it's because he's part black. Yeah. That she mean. does. She does like the black and gay. Yeah, he's right. Her entire wow. audience. <laughs> he's a black gay man. <laughs> entire audience in bed. <laughs> she did get a lot of uh, a lot of tweets back to her, saying that's because he's half black. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't think go. I was breaking any new ground there. <laughs> All right. Well, then let's listen to Troy Kwan from. <laughs> From the after uh, show. What is, is the official name of that show? I know we all have our own names. Uh, after yeah. after Opie and Anthony Live. Is, is it really? Show. Yep, that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. I call it Sammy the Twat. <laughs> Sammy the Twat. Well, Troy Kwan decided, why give O and A this this I, right you gotta, this story? You got to talk to him. <laughs> we He'll talk to him. He'll tell you. Yeah, but you he comes in here and talks about fucking you know whatever. How about whatever. he slides this little note and goes, "Hey, I got a snowball story." Whenever you want to get to it. He's got a ton of stories. Well, how about the He can give you a book of notes. Well, next time, how about he uh, gives us one? Instead if, of always giving you shit. If, you, if he comes in here and you just Sam is saying that basically him. he got it out of him and we have neglected to do so. Sam's basically trying to say he got it out of him because he's a better broadcaster than all of us. No. It's That's what he's subtly saying uh, yes, here he today. Yes, I don't is. actually do content on my show. You guys actually talk Troy about Troy Kwan, why not, why not give us the snowball story? Why give it to Sam? I'll, t- I'll talk to you guys about anything. You guys just got to ask. Oh, boy. We don't have time to ask. We got That's so much shit to do. I don't have Ugh. anything to do, so I'd end up talking to these yeah. guys. Yeah. You don't have any pressure. It's just a quick hang, like, oh, that was a cool show. Right. So, you know, you're just kind of hanging. We got like, we, we to get into some stuff. I get to talk to Troy for like 25 minutes, and then eventually the snowball thing See, comes we can't up. talk to Troy Kwan for 25 minutes. That, we, no offense. We, no, got, no. we got a lot of things to cover in one in I one, love talking one to show. Troy. He's a good dude. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jim. You want to play the snowball clip from the after show? When did you get oh, snowballed? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bro, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Damn, I crashed again. <laughs> He's doing it. Yeah, the snowball. <laughs> I don't know why people get so grossed out over jizz. It's yours. Did you ever taste it? The context. <laughs> yeah. I should mention was that uh, Danny was talking about fucking flashlights and saying that the problem is that you have to clean them. And I asked him about using them without cleaning them. And he said, yeah, he's fucked a flashlight with his own cum in it. And I said, that's disgusting. Uh, that and is then, gross. And then Troy Not said. Really, if it's all dried up and shit. Dude, that's no, 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 terrible. No, he said it was, it was like. Well, how, how long after? Fresh. All right, yeah, that's kind of gross. Like real quick after. Oh, so you do it twice? Yeah. He just he fucks a flashlight better than a real girl. Yeah. Wow. Danny could probably never fuck a real girl twice in a row. Look now, <laughs> Danny, now Danny's running down the hall. You come, all this stuff after happened after show. our show. Where's right. this juicy little midget rump? Danny has a midget rump. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Jimmy said you have a midget rump. A juicy little midget rump. He said <laughs> you have a midget rump. <laughs> so, <laughs> so not. That's <cold. laughs> nice. I don't care what it is. <laughs> So what? You could, uh, you could you could come twice in how long? In a, in a, in a flashlight. Is this an interview? Yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> in a flashlight. Uh, I don't really remember. I just I remember grabbing it, I guess, beating, pounding one out, and then, uh, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes later, just like, fuck it. Like, I, how old I you could have... either go for it or, or clean it. That's I, a I dull like day, it. man. It was nothing going on that day, right? <laughs> yeah, it was probably snowing outside or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, how old are you? I've seen this episode. Mm-hmm. 31. Yeah. Man, my turnaround time is... Uh, <laughs> Not like that. Anymore. I think what happened was Danny looked in the fridge and realized there was an extra six pack, and he had to celebrate somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, uh, you're feeling your 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 own cum in there. 
Well, a it's bit. it's or, in there. Yeah, or is it mean, to the back of it? It's well, probably to the back of it, Sammy. Well, Sammy doesn't even really feel it. With, a, with, a, it. with a flashlight, a you want to use like you can't fuck it dry, so no. you got to use something. So it's moist and there's mm. juices in there anyway. Yeah, that's juices, you know, drippings. <laughs> yeah, right. Is the flashlight that good to fuck? <laughs> yeah, it really is, huh? Yeah, I need to get a new one, but yeah, I and think I want to try. Wore it out already. <laughs> Well, like, you know, you can't really, you shouldn't be leaving anything in there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah more you gotta you do, clean it yeah. out. But then there's nothing more degrading after you come than having to clean out your receptacle. Does, does your cum break down mm -hmm. the plastic? Mm -hmm. It doesn't break. It, <laughs> is no, it latex it just, plastic? It, what is it? It, it rots. It's That's like what I mean. latex. It's, I don't know what it, it, it is. It just starts breaking it down. Dude, oh, and it crumbles. It, it, oh, dude, God. It's the worst smell in the Oh, world. man. Oh, God. <laughs> Brown, dried up. Jizz. Oh, oh, you don't, why don't you clean it? Brown? Oh, yeah, it turns brown. Oh. Why don't you clean it's it? rotting life. Ugh, it's disgusting. <laughs> rotting yeah. life. It really is like a mass grave. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you clean it? Because I was lazy. That's why I, that's why I fucked it but twice. Isn't it, <laughs> isn't it easy to clean? <laughs> Um, Don't you turn it inside out or something? Yeah, you just shove it. Well, it's like Kevin Smith was saying. You just kind of, you, you kind of just <laughs> put it in the dishwasher. No, you just <laughs> shove it onto the end of the faucet. <laughs> and let, All right, yeah, yeah. And let the water shoot through it. Let it go, <laughs> like I, a I, nozzle. I, I think I want to try this. <laughs> Dude, it's, pretty, it's It's. I, I was. I was skeptical, and I, I thought I was gonna. I was like, <clears throat> who's gonna? Why? Why do, am I gonna fuck this? Do you feel this? stupid? You do it first until you realize that it fucking it's not feels bad. good. Yeah. With yeah, Danny, I might try this. <laughs> it's not. I mean, how do we, how do we get flashlights? We just. I'm sure we could get a box full. Yeah, but I want to get paid too. <laughs> we should have everybody on the show fuck flashlights. <laughs> I would fuck one. Yeah, Years ago, Dice presented me on the road huh? with. Uh, I forget what he called it. The sleeve. And oh, right, the sleeve. The sleeve. The and primitive you, flashlight. But that yeah, was yeah, yeah. It was actually a pretty good jerk off sleeve. Yeah. You tried I mean, it. There's been a ton oh, yeah. of these things, obviously, but and I've tried a few of them, believe it or oh, not. Yes. But uh, the, dude, the flashlight is no joke. I, I, I enjoy I the flashlight. <laughs> I gotta try it. It is a very cool masturbatory I'm try. It. Danny tried to justify yeah. it and say it wasn't that gross. It's like coming and then it <laughs> gurgles over, so it's it still touches your dick. But I well, told no, him no. Cause, no cause this Sam's is going, like, ew, ew, ew. Well, it's gross because it's like using your own jizz for lube. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so, like, it's, so it's, like, what if you're on your back, you're beating off right, and now it's, it's burbling over, and, you know, it, it's your own stuff on you, so what's the difference? It's well, then on you. Don't, but then you don't jerk yeah, off again. Yeah, but who cares? And use what it, what does it matter? Like, but it does it, yeah, I don't see as that, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, who cares? I think yeah. it's gross. You know, no, you know why you think it's gross? Because you don't, you, you, because you have to use rubbers with your chick. So uh -huh. if you could just, you ever just bang out your chick, leave it in there, and then you bang her out again. It's the same thing. I would have. I would, I would, I would, she would clean before. No, oh, yes. no, 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 no. No, they don't. Get the fuck out of here. You're no. having a good time hanging out. Fuck her again. It's like, you're not going to go clean out your veg. My cum's in there. You just got to keep going. You're like, fuck stupid, it. right? It's hot. You just keep going. Whatever. It's hot. Yeah. You it's get turned fun. on it's fun. by jizz a little if bit. If you leave a... Uh, <laughs> you think Troy likes jizz? A little bit. He gets turned on by no, no, a little if bit. If it's my jizz, who cares? I don't understand why I everybody... And I, I guarantee... Every guy has tried the tasting their own jizz. I no. guarantee it. I, all right, well, you're wrong because I haven't. I've licked mine. It's Jim Norton's Twitter avatar, or it used to be. Oh no, that's, that's the cool. toilet I'm licking. Oh, but I have licked my own jizz out of my hand <laughs> on video for a girl. I mean, it's I have, what's the I big have, deal? I have blown a load uh, inside a girl, and then um, for the recharge time, I just spend a little time licking. But I don't shove my tongue in there to try to gather up all my jizz goodness. <laughs> well, I lick the outside. You are eating your own but jizz. But I do taste point. it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said that yeah. one time he came and it landed like on his lip. And so he licked it off his tongue. Uh, Good range. Uh, wow. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, you know, it's, I, I used to drink my own piss on stage with my old band. So I, I, it's just it's your G. own. G.G. Allen. I, it's your own fluid. I would, I would drink my own piss. Why? Yeah, I would too. I would do it right now. Right, right now? Well, yeah, yeah but they're, they're not going to let should, me do it. Yeah, no, but we should do it before the bosses get here. Yeah, but they're gonna know. So oh, we get in trouble for it. It's supposed to be really healthy. Yeah, for I, you. Used to, I used especially to, especially oh. if you drink your own. On stage, I used to clamp my dick and like let the piss fly up in there and then catch it. <laughs> wow, it's wow. fucking cool. It's yeah. like the fountains at Disney. Yeah, <laughs> and I'd spit it on the crowd and then they'd get pissed. I'm confused why you weren't a mainstream <laughs> success. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. I hope because I know the Bieber does that too. <laughs> does he? Yeah, the Bieber does that. Stole that. Yeah. I hope this happens to uh, Sam, by the way, because uh, we found out yesterday he will be fucking. Uh, without condoms right. after the wedding, sure. I pray for premature ejaculation. <laughs> like you've been using rubbers too long, so that when you feel the goodness of regular vagina against your your penis, you just shoot and do not satisfy her at all. Maybe I should jerk off the afternoon before, like right before the ceremony. <laughs> I hope you still just. Uh, 
<laughs> in between the ceremony and the reception. Just jerk off right over <laughs> in the bathroom. Really. Oh, that Sam, would be it's great. time to take pictures. Wait a second, real quick. I'll yeah. just be a minute. Oh, that be Take great. a picture nice. of this and make her nice fucking lick it. Oh, Jesus. What? Chip. God. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, it's oh, mean. I don't know. Now we have nothing. To yes, say. Danny. Sure it is. I was going to say, isn't it nice, though, to be able to still do that? Like, do it's what? one thing at like 15 to blow your load. Oh. You know? But, like, to still be able to do that at like a 30. Like, Ooh. I don't mind. If it does happen, I don't fucking mind. Just to get that worked up <clears throat> in your brain. Oh, my God. I, crazy. I'm glad right? I can still access that shit. So. Hey, you can still access where you just got to fucking come instantly. <laughs> I don't mind that. Nope. So, uh, all right, the snowballing. Uh, Let's get back oh, to Oh, man. The yeah, come to me. I don't know why people get so grossed out over jizz. It's yours. Did you ever taste it? Yeah, of course. Your own? Yes. What do you mean, of course? Yes. What does it taste like? Cum! Yeah. I don't know what cum tastes like. It's like mucusy. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, what was the context in which you tasted it? Which time? Ooh. How many times have you tasted it? <laughs> uh, a couple times. What was what was your favorite? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like the wording on it. Probably, probably <laughs> after being snowballed. <laughs> Okay, so tell me how snowballing hey. works. Well, I mean, you finish in somebody's mouth and they give they give it to you. So you came in a girl's mouth. Yeah. After she was blowing you. Yeah. And then she comes up to your mouth and open mouth kisses you so that your cum. Yeah, now, she wanted to do her, it. I was like, All right. Your well, cum it. goes from her mouth into your mouth. Yeah, so. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. You liked it. I've dr drank my own <clears throat> piss before. I've I've never eaten my own shit, but. Did you think that when she, when your cum went into your mouth, is that like sexy? Uh, it was pretty, it was a hot scenario. Yeah. I, I, I just got nauseous. There's no <laughs> wow. way I would do that. No, that's pretty fucking bad. No yeah. fucking way. If I told you who the girl was that I did it with, then you'd, Real you'd hot probably change girl? your mind. Who yeah. was it? Who was it? Someone we know? Oh. What color is her hair? Wait, who is it? Oh. Write it down. Is she a blonde? I, I don't want to say it on there. Uh, that's fine. Oh, Write wait, it down. Wait, wait oh. let me, let me look it up. But I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of like the... The hottest girl you could like think of in your in your brain, and I, it's still I, rough. I don't. I couldn't do that, man. Does she work on shade? I couldn't do that. <clears throat> really? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You banged her? Yeah. And snowballed. Are you, are you still? No, 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 no. This was like ten was years this, ago. What was the scenario? Oh, wow. I, I don't give a fuck that no one knows the wow. name. But what was yeah. the scenario? Troy wins. Yeah, I guess. In but this, <laughs> I'd, I'd fucking kiss her if she showed up with cum in her mouth. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just don't want. I don't want to like. I just don't want to say it on air because I don't. I don't want to be disrespectful to her. But disrespectful to her? What are you talking about? I mean, she yeah. made a living off fucking being you know disrespectful. Like I don't. I don't no, no. It's, Holy, it's we time. all obviously know the person. Oh, I have no idea who she is. What? You know who that is? You're kidding, I'm right? Get the name up there. No. No, that's not her name. You're, you're, oh. you're kidding, Jimmy. No. What's wrong with you? Who is that? You seriously? Oh, 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 you fucked up? <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. Wow, we, we, Troy, hung, out, we hung out to for, hang out with famous people. Troy Kwan. We fucking, hung out for a period of time. Oh, a hero. You know what? I believe Troy completely because she told a story. This person told a story. I'm not going to see who it is, but with her husband where he did something similar mm -hmm. and kissed her off of her, and she liked it a lot. So I know he's telling the truth. All right, now that we know the girl... The beautiful woman. Wow. Uh, would you do that? I, I still Fuck wouldn't. yeah. No. Yeah. no. Absolutely. I, I, I no. Think I, I, Absolutely. I think, so. I, yeah. I, I think everybody would. Because that's also her hating men subtly. That's her being dirty, but that's also her punishing you for your treat. That's like somebody lets you <laughs> ride in their Mercedes, and they have a horse kick you in the chin as you get out. <laughs> wow. So what, Good boy. You, give us some details. How did you get with her? Uh, I mean, if I, if that's going to completely Let's give just it away. say, were you, at, were you at a club? Yeah, she, I had done some, been involved with her doing some stuff for a band I was in. And, oh, okay. uh, uh, we just became friends and then just started hanging out. How many times did you fuck her? A bunch. Really? Yeah. Oh, like, we, we, were, really we were hanging out for a couple friends. months. What's that? You guys must have been really good friends. <laughs> You're, yeah, I mean, she... That Troy, pals, man, right there. Yeah. Troy... Bros. Bros, for bros. real. You were broing down. Someone's got to say, Troy's a rock star. <clears throat> nah. Because if any one of us was with Cock her... star. With her, we would be <laughs> telling the world. It was like 10 years ago. So what? That makes it even better. Ah. 10 years ago, that's... 10 years ago is Now like, that's really good, yeah. <laughs> no yeah. kidding. 10 years ago, she was in her prime. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Why you, wouldn't you tell people? Was she well, I mean, how do you bring it up? I don't want to... You come across Can a little say, bit of a... What's that? Who that you person? say who it is? I mean, I don't know, dude. It's it's a little... I, I, I don't know. It's a weird thing. 
Right. I just I don't want. Are you guys still want, friends? No, 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 no. We aren't. But I, I just don't want. No, 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 no. I don't. I just don't want to be. Um, I don't want to just be disrespectful because she's she's a really cool chick, and I don't want to be disrespectful by Look at you. talking about yeah, what, but what happened she, on I, air. What are you religious? No, no, no. I just don't want to. I don't, don't know. We don't know her that well, but I th I I feel like she would be completely cool with you t saying her name. We should try to get her on the show. No. <sighs> No, that's, that's not. Why good. did you guys move on from each other? It well, just, you know, it just would never work. Why? Oh, because it's just. You yeah. didn't have a blowout, did you? No, not at all. No, she's really cool. I have nothing but respect. Oh, the for sex her. was good, right? I'm incredible. Did you ever wait, trade stories with what's his name? Uh, no, but what's yeah. That? Wait, wait. Uh, oh, <laughs> fuck. No. No, this was before. That was pre that. Oh yeah, way yeah, yeah. I would hope so. so. Yeah, way, way before that. <clears throat> yeah, right. you don't want to get in. You know, no. In the yeah, way that's, of that's a, another reason. A tiger <laughs> and his meal. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to stay f far away from that. But is that the only famous girl you were with? Uh, I mean, a couple other porno oh. chicks that aren't worth even mentioning. But chicks. you just said a couple other. You just you just fucked up a little bit. You do realize that, right? Oh no. Nah, <laughs> you said a couple other Whatever. porno nah, chicks. That's all right. There's a lot of porno. And we're looking at a porno chick that we all know, <laughs> so that yeah. narrows it down significantly. But I'm sure you understand my reasoning for wanting to be I do. to be a little little crazy. I mean, you know, she suggests something. It's like, why not? Why not try it? You, you know? know, I fucked Brie Olson once, and I and I and I was only mediocre, and I couldn't get to the microphone fast enough to tell the world. <laughs> that's I, true. I did blow. I did blow it. But yeah. that sort of started did on you? the show, though, right? I mean, so. I mean, you know, just never fucked her again. Why? Would you if you were? <laughs> <laughs> Why? One and done. As I look at Jimmy's luggage again. <laughs> yeah, if, I, if you look just at the flopping. true Jim Lord, I gotta go, guys. No, I, I, oh, no, Jimmy. I have a nine no. o'clock flight. I, I'm pushing it now, but I should. We don't care, no, Jimmy. So I wish I could do it. <laughs> All right, Troy, you fucking rule. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, All right so she bags. was the one that snowballed Ow. you. Yeah. Better, oh, stop shitting. I'll Thank see you Friday morning. Thank you, Jimmy. Morning. Have Thanks, fun. Jimmy. Unless I'm killed in a plane crash. No, no shut stop up. that shit. He joked one too many times. <laughs> All right. Uh, Godspeed, yeah, Jim Norton. If I had known it was her, I probably would have not thought it was that weird. Huh? If I had known it was her, I probably would have not thought it was that weird. I didn't even think. No, it is weird, and it's fucking, it's awful. You don't want a chick spitting jizz back in your fucking mouth. Sorry. Yeah, but if just like one time, yeah, yeah, yeah and it's her. Uh, well, I guarantee. I'd probably, look, I'd do it one time. I'm not even. All right, it, put off by like the fact that maybe some jizz is going to get in your mouth. Right. You know, your own jizz in some way, shape, or form during some sex exploits. But to have her just take a mouthful like that and blatantly pump it back into your face. Did you swallow that's it? That's a problem. Yeah, of course. You swallowed it? Of course. Yeah. 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 He's a trooper. He's a rock Fuck star. yeah. See, now I understand why it happened, but... Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sure the same would happen... Uh, For any, any guy. But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. sit there and, and enjoy it. I mean, I enjoyed the scenario. You enjoyed how, you go, how you go, dirty it was, Did you go, right? mm, mm. No. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> Yummy. Took, took it like a champ. You but yeah, but yeah. I mean, it was it was a hot scenario, and why not? You what, know? what if a caller uh, guesses who it is, and we give him a fine prize for guessing? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> killing me, dude. Uh. I think the callers can pretty easily guess who it is. Yeah, but that makes you like a rock star. Yeah, but then people I just, know. There's not a guy I know that wouldn't fucking run to that microphone and say who it was. I just I think that's I don't know. I don't tacky. I don't, a little tacky. Did you yeah. give her a good one? Did yeah. she enjoy it? I was a young buck. She was came she back for seconds, didn't she? Was she, she? Sque squealing? Like, uh, was she fake squealing or, or oh, real like squealing? Like Sam heard in know. that hotel room? You know, I was I was <clears> like 21 <throat> years old. So. Oh, wow, a young Jesus. buck. You think yeah. she One of the it? young Turks. I, I guess so. I mean, we hung out for a period of time. Were you intimidated? Very much so. Mm. Very much so. Not yeah. the whole time. Because no, I mean, that you, didn't you, stop you, though. No. You a little just, intimidation. You just got to step up to the plate. But, yeah, it was fun. You grabbed the bull by the giant tits. <sighs> I can't take that phone call because it gives it away. But people know that's hilarious. So out of respect for Troy, you if give you, us enough on the show that I'm not going to push you. If you put hilarious. together everything that's been said, it's it's the it's who you think. I it will is. tell you this much for the newer listeners: most of this stuff comes out in the end anyway. So it really just does. give it a little time. They know. Yes. it's who you think it is. Will you shut up? It's, it's, it's you're a dick. It's who you now think you're just it is. being a dick. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it cool. Yeah, but no, yeah, Troy, am I keeping it cool? You're keeping it very cool. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't expect nothing but less from him that, other than you're being, kind of a, being dick. a dick. Now I'm not being a dick. It's I out there. Say. Most people probably mm -hmm. have a good idea, but Everybody just leave knows. it like that. And I have no problem telling stories, and and I'll tell you guys anything. But it's just like it's just out of respect how for those, another person. How are those boobies? Fun. <laughs>
I always liked uh, her implants. Most implants suck. They okay. really do. Now, now you're really busy. Now, now he's, he's being the, the guy. Why? 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 Mm. Most, porn st- more no, most porn stars have fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, you're, oh, come you're, on, just, man. Help me out. You're here. adding. No, I'm not going to help you. A little really? bit. Yeah. A little bit, Opie. You're the bigger you're, you're dick. You put up Every porn star has bit. breast implants, and we've seen a million of them. No. Just oh, Jolie come does. on, man. I'm sorry, Troy. No, I don't, dude, I don't care, man. I'm it's trying to be cool. cool. I'm, That's I'm good. trying to be cool. Like a LOL at fake discreet OP. <laughs> People are calling like you out. I'll be, I'll be honest. I didn't mean <clears throat> to do that in that way. I was just saying. I was just commenting. You know I always I mean. like that. Right, it's yeah. a little tacky. I wasn't being like... fake there, I swear. Aunt. There are times I do go down that road. Why don't we just have um, E-Rock whisper it in your headphones? You heard yeah. that. Fucking! I I couldn't believe him. What you, happened? You heard it on the radio. I he totally said, right? heard it on the radio. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Loud and clear. I, was, I don't know what happened. I wasn't listening <clears throat> yesterday. We were talking about fucking fat chicks and um, c- coming back to my old apartment because we used to have crazy parties at my old apartment. And uh, there was a, a party, and Eric had whispered something in my headphones about a, one of the parties that we had, and it just went blatantly over the air. Really. Because yeah. he didn't really whisper it into the headphones. No, he said no. it very loudly. He's like, I'm not sure if Troy wants this out or something, uh, you know, but I, or he wants to talk about it. And everyone's like, okay, what? And he goes, okay, well, I'll tell you in your headphones. And then you just hear, <laughs> over the air. And you heard exactly what he said. You heard exactly what he and said. And what was it? Something about age. Yeah, he said, I don't know <clears throat> if she was of age. Girls were age appropriate. We were oh, that's about. good. And then he was like, well, it didn't go over the air. And I was like, well, then how did we all hear it in the studio? Right, that I liked did. Troy's gang-banging the retard story. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, well, slow. Well, she was a little, just a little, little slow. slow. A car accident. Was she, yeah. the, was she the best you ever had? Uh, y- yeah. Overrated? Yeah. What, where are you at with that? It's hard to say, man, because I was so young. You know what I mean? It was just, you don't, you don't really know what you're doing. You didn't yeah, understand. Everything's great at yeah, that age. Yeah, you just don't really understand the magnitude you, of how. You don't it. understand how amazing it is because you're just young and full of calm. You're just like. Yeah, yeah. No appreciation of what you got right there. No, you don't know how to. You have no idea what you're doing. You just. Well, it's just like a jacket. Did she tell you what to do? Insert pump no, I mean, repeat. She, she was, you know. Instructional? Yeah. All she, holes? No, no. Two out of three? Yeah. Did you lick, <laughs> did you lick her ass? Of course. Yeah. You got it. That. You got to do that. You got to get... That's like the fucking entrance exam. <laughs> it really is like the fucking, you know, buy the ticket, get in the park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. With that, you have to. You just you got to go for whatever. You got to go for broke, you know? Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Good for you, man. So, yeah, you got to put yourself over more than other guys. And you got to be do. willing to do things. Now, the whole snowball thing... I think that's more novelty than true pleasure with a girl. Yeah. I think it's like, hey, look what I'm doing. He's eating his own cum. Uh, as opposed to getting a girl and uh, you know doing things where she's really digging it, and it's things that most guys probably don't do. Right. You but know. she knows she has the power to make you do it. I think I think you would she's do, getting she or something. How was the psycho the psychology sure. of it? Sure. I yeah. can make I can do this to this guy. Yeah. How was the fit? The fit. A lot of people might think. Oh, it was. Ev- Really nice. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, I get hey. It. hey. <laughs> if I could say it. Hey. <laughs> God, he, Troy just stopped the show. I think we're all impressed. I guarantee you guys would have. I guarantee it takes a lot to impress us, Troy. I guarantee both you guys would have done the exact same thing I did. I'm not, I you know, now that I know the, I, 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 won't, I won't deny that, but I would, I would be like, ugh, what the fuck? To be honest with you, first of all, very beautiful, but not my type. Why? Really? I, you know me. You uh, never, you never. No, not my type. Oh, I think she's ten gorgeous. years ago. Of course. Holy, I'd fuck, fuck the shit out of her. I'm not ago, saying yeah. that, but that's not really my type. You know me. Show her ten years ago. I'm white trash. That's pretty. That's over. pretty. Actually, pretty close to it. I yeah. think. What year? About 2012. Mm, about, I mean, 2002. Uh, 99, 2000. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. So you're talking like. Uh, oh Jesus. A little, little, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're right there. God damn it. Troy That's Kwan. probably pretty accurate. Because yeah. she has that, like, look. You know? It's that look of, of uh, a pro. Yeah. And I don't really go for that. Is she I a little thicker than you like? 
No, Thank no, God. she's no. fine. She's fine. That's, I get what Aunt's saying. Fine. When the when the hair is a little too bleached out, yeah, I, and they it's look like, a little too plastic. <laughs> you don't okay. even have to squint much to Did see you, that. That's listen, Pamela listen, Anderson listen, looking. Listen, right. Okay. <laughs> what? Both of you are way bigger dicks. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? Way bigger Sam? dicks. We're just discussing. Were yeah, you're worse. a big dick too, though. Why? Why? Way worse. We're discussing. You started the ball rolling. <laughs> <clears throat> we're just and discussing. It, well, yeah, you know, you are the no, one you really, like and don't like from you our porn girls. The snowball rolling. We're keeping a secret. <laughs> we're, we're, we have totally kept a secret, Sam. We're good. You guys are way bigger dicks. We're you, good. you tested the waters for them. Now they're just fucking. Yeah, but guess what? It was warm. <laughs> we're yeah, good. we're good, man. All right. So there it is. A little snowball. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See, Sam, we got a little more. Did you know it was her? No. On the after show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, we're better broadcasters in the end. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll guess, see what we got. I Look at the info we got. I yep. thought your years uh -huh. of experience had proven that. I didn't realize you were still on this quest to oh. prove that you're better than me. <laughs> to prove that we're better than uh, right, look, Sam Roberts. Look, I might be panicking a little bit <laughs> yeah. in my older years, all right? I'm, I'm fairly secure that you are but, both. But I can still hit it out of the park. Hugely better broadcasters than me. Oh, well. For the record. Even with the shits? Even with the shits and the coughs. And no voice. Yeah, it's great. I've been holding in um, something. Which makes it hard to talk. Yeah, you're squirming over there. Oh, God. Damn. Holy shit. You percolating? I don't know what. It's just bit. like, I don't know. Fuck. Man, you got, oh. you got mulch inside yeah. you? Yeah. Mulch. That was the last one. It was mulch. Mulch. Like shredded wheat. <laughs> All right. Should uh, we break? Yeah, I, I got food in front of me. What the fuck? Where were we? <clears throat> Doesn't matter, does it? Did we do any uh, good radio? You did, right, yeah, right? we did a lot of good radio. Uh, oh, good. You're talking about all your ailments and Troy getting cum in his mouth. Yeah. Those Fox News girls. Huh? Fox know. News just has great fucking looking women working for their their stations. And they're not they're not too stupid. No, no, no. They're pretty good, but they blow their, they blow away CNN's people or MSNBC is just a bunch of fucking slobs, a bunch of fucking women that want to look like men. Uh, Rachel Maddow. <clears throat> yeah. Was that a shot at Rachel? It was totally a shot at Rachel Manow. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I, I love saying it. I mean, it's so obvious she just wants to go on TV as a boy, and they won't let her. No, they try to she gussy her up. She hates that she has to kind of look like a woman. She hates it. She's terrible. Because all you have to do is Google image her to see what she looks like when, when before she got the big gig. Yeah. She wa wants to walk around this world as a boy. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what she wants. I don't even give a fuck. I just think it's hilarious that she is forced to kind of like soften her look uh, to be on TV. Yeah, to be on TV. That's, really fucking that's what you got to do. Uh, dumb stuff makes me howl, though. So it's whatever. your job. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking impressed yeah. by the Troy thing. Oh, that is pretty fucking impressive. That's a great celebrity banging. Yeah, we almost had Farouk Assault, so we're right there, there with Troy. Mm. Me and Ann could have double fucking dated the fucking Farouk Assault broads. Yeah. Almost having a double date. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And we got one of their panties, even. So we're just like Troy, after rock what, stars. After what we heard, just heard. No, no, no. I know that's <laughs> it is. You ain't, ain't topping that. No, no. Very easily. <laughs> no. All right, D Rock, do something. And now the moment you've waited for rears its ugly nose. Head after Opie and Anthony Live is coming up next. Um, what about you, John? What did you learn on the Opie and Anthony show? Well, I learned while Anthony was sick, it clouded his judgment, and he allowed a couple fatties into his pool. <laughs> fatties need love, too, don't they, John? That's true. I mean, you know what? You got the jacuzzi open. If the if fat girls are who's there, what? who would you rather be in the jacuzzi? Because would you rather uh, a, a trim, good-looking guy or a fat girl? Eric, you vote. I'd have to say a fat girl. Roland? For what? What are the choices? Better in a jacuzzi. If you're going to take a picture of your jacuzzi, do you want a trim, good-looking guy or a fat girl? Yeah, I want Orca. No, I uh, yeah, I go with the dude. You would pick the dude. I'd be the dude, man. Because I was thinking fat girl is better because at least you got chicks over. You're saying... Well, it's... because you go, hey, look at this dude. Dude, the chicks are here. <laughs> so you want... You... you... <laughs> You want to take whoever the best looking person is, yeah. and, and let them be the representative. It's, it's, like, it's like advertising. You gotta make it like as best as possible. Like, look, look at my party. You see how the, the chicks are. See, for me and Iraq, I think that in our minds we're saying 
well, that way people will assume we have girls over. In your mind, you're saying this way people will assume there's good-looking people at my house. And there's fucking going on. And you see a fat person, you're like, they're low on food. Right. And the people may be questionable. Right. You're saying that if you got a good-looking guy in your hot tub, you're going to look Odds at that are. picture and be like, that's a guy who likes to fuck. Odds are there'll be hot pussy around. Whereas the fat girls, you're like, that's a girl who doesn't get laid too often. No, and you know, it's, it's not fun. It's like a therapy session. No, no, it's okay. You look good in the bathing suit. <laughs> yeah, you have Come to, on in the water. You have to build up that self And then someone spits water up in the air. You go, look, I'm you. No, don't do a well impression. <laughs> so oh, you're, right. I forgot the one-piece bathing suit where they have a t-shirt over it that's uh, floating or, to the top. Yeah, I, I swim say, with a poncho. You don't want a, you don't want a girl who's going to swim in a t-shirt in your or in a poncho. You don't want that. What about Sal? What does Sal think? Good-looking guy or fat girl in the hot tub? So, what do you think? I, I, I'd always go for the fat chick. Right. Okay. I think, but I think Roland brings up a very interesting point. Yeah, I mean, I guess you know, fat chicks are a little more common to you know come over. I like guess. Roland's party, it seems like it'll be more the place to be. Yeah, because oh, like they got, like girls, you can send them to a girl picture. Look at that thing. Oh. You could you could attract hot girls. Like you you'll be texting your hot girlfriends and be like, Hey, look who's here. Look who's here. Good looking guys. Yeah. But that's only gonna make them jealous. At least you could just get it over with. You could fuck the fat girl in five minutes and be done with it. Well no one said Yeah, that. but but then, but then she's gonna eat your food. That's right. She'll eat you and, and what's important. And, to and then you? she's gonna cry, like, Can you can I stay and watch T V? You're like, All right. You seem like you have some experience with these fat women. Dude, yeah, once you you can't you can make them leave. Like fucking they camp out. Who's the what's the fattest girl you've ever been with? Um, Eric, how much do you weigh? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he nailed you. He nailed you, Eric. He nailed you. What's the biggest girl you've ever been with? Um, more or less. <sighs> not really been with a fat girl. You've never been with a fat girl. No. I'm fat, yeah, but I haven't been with a fat girl. But you don't not. like fat girls. No, I know that's weird. You like yeah. good-looking girls. Yeah. You like people who are out of your league. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Good. Yeah. That's the way to be. Trust me, Roland. I'm from the same school of thought. Eric, biggest girl you've ever been with. You've been with some big ones. No, I, I haven't. Um, Come on. Somebody's been with some fat most, girls. With the exception of one tall girlfriend, the rest of mine have been like petite brunette, you know, who's, short little tiny ones. Well, who's the tallest then? Um, There was one. She was about 5'9". <laughs> For a girl, that's that's big. That's not that big. 5'9"? I dated a six-foot black woman once. Craziest really? shit in my life, Danny. Thank God, you've been with and Troy. Thank God. I know. I'm so thank tired. God. There's some dudes so around tired here. Of these fucking guys that like they think there's some kind of you. shame in it or thank something. Thank you. I fucked. Thank you. I fucked a big fat tsunami of a woman. What's the fattest girl you ever been with? <laughs> Oh, I don't know, dude. She was just, this. This girl was kind of big, dude. Like I don't even know how to put a poundage on her. Yeah. Because, like, what am I going to do? Ask her? Like, hey, no, you, 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 hey, fat girl, how much do you weigh, by the way? Because you're really fat. But, like, like, <laughs> like, like, this is a girl who you'd see on the street and be like, oh, that's that fat girl. Oh, yeah, she was definitely a fat girl. She was definitely a fat girl. But the thing was that she was, like, it's hard to explain. Like, she wasn't, was cute face? No, no, no. Well, she was okay. Like, she wasn't, you see, know, face she wasn't goes ugly. a long way, dude. Face she goes a long way. Yeah, but she you know what cute. else does? Like, she, but that doesn't matter. Not being fat. Yeah, the, the cute, <laughs> goes a long way, too. Cute is, is moot because, you know, she, when you got, like, you know, 30 pounds of skin and fat surrounding the pretty right. face. What the yeah. fuck? But she was fucking sexy. She was sexy. She was confident in her sexuality. Is that what it was? Kind of, yeah. Like, and, and she wasn't afraid to like try new things, or she wasn't afraid to, to maybe suggest something that might be wacky for other people. Because she's sitting there, and she's like, well, listen, you've already decided you're going to have sex with a fat girl tonight. What am I going to pretend to be bashful? And the first time we hooked up, by the way, she was a prude, and I couldn't get anywhere. Really? With a f you hooked up with her more than once. Oh yeah, this we we became fuck buddies for a, a while just because it was wow. so because it was filthy. Like you don't understand how filthy it was. No, like, I don't. You know, you, hey, what's going on? Uh, you know, I'm at work. Can you come by? You know, during your lunch break. Okay, I would show up. We barely talked. You know, I I would fuck the piss and during shit your, out of her. during her lunch break or your lunch break. Mine, like Mine. boogie nights. Yeah, and then like, like we wouldn't like, even like, we like would, when Mark Wahlberg would just show up. Yeah. 
I mean, we, we would talk, but we didn't have a lot of time, you know? So it was kind of... You had other things to it do. It was just like, yeah, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, how's your work? Oh, how's your work? Okay, great. And then we'd just start fucking, you know? It was, it, or, like, you know, she'd just start, take my dick out and start sucking and choking on it. Dude, it was fucking fantastic. And that was the thrill, that there was just nothing to it but sex. Yeah, and it was agreed upon. Like, we knew it. I didn't have to worry about, about how, like, is leaving going to be awkward? Yeah. Like, it just didn't fucking matter. She knew what it was. I knew what it was. And we both knew and, what the deal was. And worst case, absolute worst case scenario... You've got a fat girl who won't talk to you anymore. Yeah, and it's Big like deal. we were safe. It's not like I was fucking a raw or anything like that. Everything was controlled, and it, it was, you know, the only f thing was that she was a big fat person. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a lot of good luck with fat chicks. <laughs> a lot. Well, I mean, I have, I've dipped in there. Uh, you know, I used to be in a touring band, so you, you'd kind of, your standards when you're on the road, right? they go way down, especially if you're in a city, and it's like, oh, there's nothing going on. Well, like, chick. you say you've been with, like, a, like, how many fat girls have you been with, more or less? Well, ballpark. The, you know, chubby. Ch chubby, but I've been with a, a, a major heifer. Major. Everyone like, needs ha like how heavy? Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like like two, two, yeah, two and two yeah. and some change. Like, give us, give us a celebrity were you body her, type. Were you her tampon? <laughs> I, she was like um, a celebrity. Oh like man, a, like a body type. It doesn't have to match in the face, just like size wise. Christy Alley, Mama Cass, <laughs> Gabaret. What's her face? Gabaret. <laughs> yeah, no, not that big. Not that big. But. I don't know, but my luck with fat chicks is always they're a lot of fun. Like, what's your name from Drew Carey, Mimi? Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. But they're, they're just so... <laughs> She's a big fat person. They're so happy that somebody's actually paying attention to them. Yeah. And wants to do things with them. And you're like an in-shape guy. You're in the band. You're one of the singers. You're like... Yeah. You know, you're a hot commodity. So they're willing to put on a show. They're really willing... They're willing That's like to, what Danny was talking They're about. willing to fuck you like they want you to love them. Right. Like Mike Tyson we were talking about yesterday. Yes. yes. Like it's the, like it's the last time she's ever going to get dick. She's going to make sure she's she's put on a show because for you. she knows that she's not going to be able to get you to keep coming back based on what you're looking at. When you right. look down at her, right. that's not what like you're not going to be able to show a picture of her to your boys and be like, "Dude, look yeah. at her." Yeah. Instead, you'll show a picture of her to your, to your boys and be like, "Dude, look at her." Yeah. So no, I was uh, I was at a party at, back in my hometown of Kutztown, Pennsylvania. And it was like a college town. This this chubby girl was Kutztown, there. Kutztown, do or die. Kutztown, do or die. What's that? That's the slogan, isn't it? No, no. Oh, oh. So this we were at a party, and the, I I was I went through a dark period where I was drinking a lot. So I really I took home this fat. How much were you drinking? Uh, like every night. A lot. I mean, I was yeah. I was hammered, and. Uh, so I took her home, fucked her. Like my roommates were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and now, when you brought her home the fatty, were you bringing her home just like for sport, like just like, "Oh, this will be funny." No, I was really drunk, and I was just like, "Whatever, <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's head back home." Went back home. I hit it. Whatever. My roommates were busting my balls about it, and I was like, "Oh, dude, I was just so fucked up. I didn't know what I was doing." Then I fucked her again the next night sober. You did? Yeah. How was it sober? Uh, it's, it's a little embarrassing. It's like, did it lose some of its charm? Yeah. 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 But it was fun. And I, I, I encourage anybody out there, if you're going through a dry spell, if you're a dude going through a dry spell, say you lower the bar just a little bit, just a little bit for some fun. Not saying you're going to love the bitch. Right. Not saying you're going to marry her. If you ever wanted to choke a bitch with your dick until tears come out. Is that what happened? Go find yourself a fat girl. That's <laughs> what happened, Danny? <laughs> yeah. <of course> <laughs> okay. No, some crazy shit went down. So it's not like crazy. You need to have <laughs> like if you're if you're a single guy who's kind of just trying to figure some shit out. Maybe you need a practice run. You're not ready to to pitch the big game yet, dude. I'm telling you, man. Just to get your game back up, if you just got out of a relationship, just here's what like your your bar is set here. Just take a take a notch or two down, just for some fun for a while. And then you'll find the person that you, you want to be in a relationship it's, with. It's like when they, when people go, uh, it's like, you know, hacking to say, oh, fat chicks, they try harder. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's true. They, they do. Is. They do try harder. Because they, they, do try they harder. fucking know. Well, it's not like they don't have mirrors in their house. They know they're fucking fat pieces of shit. And so to have uh, to have... Uh, to have a warm reception from somebody who isn't a fucking big, fat, ugly pig like them... Right. I mean, people... Must be like a good thing. People figure out... You know, people like getting attention, and they figure out how they can get attention. Right. So I would assume that most of these girls that you've been with, if they were with you two, they were probably with some other people too, and they realized, okay, this is how I can get that attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it works. You know, you offer yourself. It's like, and I'm telling you, man, the best blowjobs I ever got in my life were from fat chicks. Is that right? Yep. It's pretty good. Yeah. 
Eric, you really never were with, with an overweight girl. I never fucked a fat girl, no. He's never going to admit it. Why would you admit that? I thought that maybe after you guys talked about it. No. Well, that's why we had, I think, I, that's why I had to come in here. I'm like, I'm not letting you Yeah, I, I was going to, I had to step up to the like, what, what, are we, what are we all going to sit here and go, no, I never fucked a fat girl. By Only every, everybody tens for me. Yeah, uh, gee, I don't think I've ever fucked anybody over 112 12 pounds. I think, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I fucked a downy once. <laughs> you fucked a girl with Down syndrome. I don't know. She looked downy. Eric, uh, that's uh, Roland's new thing, look downy. Yesterday, we were, or a couple days ago, we were in the elevator, and we were with people from whatever, the, one of the banks or whatever, the, the business people that wear suits to work, that work in this building. And uh, Eric, I don't remember what Eric said in the elevator, but it was me, Eric, and Roland. And Eric said something, and then Roland goes, shut up! And then he turned to the people in the elevator and said, never mind him, he's a little downy. See, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> and the business people are just looking. Eric, does that humiliate you when Roland no, describes you? No, we all laughed you? at that. That guy was really uncomfortable <laughs> he was, walking he, out of the elevator. Yeah, but so you, were the, you were the one that he picks to be downy every time. So? <laughs> okay. Troy, would you, would you fuck Kirstie Alley now? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah would you would? I mean, fuck her or somebody that's like her. No, her. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'd just I would, do it I for would, the... I would definitely smash Kirstie Alley. Yeah. So you would have... She lost a lot of weight. We'll put it back. That, I don't think, yeah. I I heard, think her heavy, heard her heaviest. <laughs> heard her heaviest. Bring it. So when a girl loses weight, when a celebrity loses weight, is part of you guys are like, what'd you go and do that for? Nah, I don't no. think so. Nah, I don't have any kind of, like, I don't have, like, a fat fetish or anything. But, no. like, when Kirstie Alley was a big giant pig, I would have still fucked it. Like, you're like, she, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she knows what I mean, she's doing. I mean, I'm looking at her going, wow, Kirstie Alley really fucking looks like shit. But I, I appreciate still, Danny's honesty sexy. right now, by the way. She's still fucking sexy. Yeah. Man. Because no, nobody else is going to step up and, and say this shit. Danny and I have because to come here and step up. Because you it's, know what? I'm fucking fine. I'm fine with it. And, I'm fine and with it. You know, on your resume of hot girls, you fucked a lot Funny. of hot girls. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Right. Me too. So, I, but you gotta I, balance that shit out. I don't mind coming on the air and telling you know two countries that I've fucked a big fat, a big, a big, <laughs> a big like a big Michael Moore <laughs> ah, woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, Michael Moore. Like, Bigger. Bigger. Dude, Michael Moore-ish. Well, you know, sometimes honesty isn't the easiest thing to find around these parts. I'm going to have that's to find so surprising. a celebrity that matches up. It was like a Chris Christie. <laughs> I got to find, you know what, it's, I got to find like a, a legit celebrity, I guess. I got, a, I got a bad story, though. What is it? It's, it's speaking of Downey. Uh -oh. oh, no. Well, go ahead. I, I should, probably shouldn't say <laughs> this. But go ahead and share. If this, if this story isn't about laundry, <laughs> it probably <laughs> yeah. shouldn't be told on that. No, well, I'll, I'll save it for another day. Well, what is it? No, nah, it's, it's, it's bad. No, I understand. Go ahead. Well, and I was I'm like I was like 17 years old, dude. So it was a long time ago. Yeah, long time. I mean, ago. you're an older guy at this point. It's a very long time. Well, ago. I'm not that old, but yeah, but pretty I'm old. Old. I'm a little bit just, older. Are you just trying to establish that the statute of limitations? Yeah, is I'm, like, this is like. I mean, that's literally 17 is half your age. Yeah. So this is like 20. What? 15 years ago or something? Right. 20. So so anyway, so this girl was so hot. She looked like a a young Bjork. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. And she was cool. And we used to go out to this rave club called the Freight Yard in, in Allentown. There was like every Friday and Saturday night they had skate ramps. And this place was really cool. And this girl was all over me. And she would she would come back to our, our place and like, like whatever. Like anybody could hook up with her. You know what I mean? Like multiple people. The only problem was is she got into a car accident. And she was just a, oh, no. a little slow. Like she, had a little, she hit her head. Yeah. Oops. Does that mean? <laughs> yeah. But she was fine. Like you could, you could, you could talk to her. Everything was fine. You could talk to a lot of people. But it just something was just like you could talk to Bobo. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. It was a, <laughs> something was just a little off. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And what did you do? Well, I mean, we we would have fun. What kind of fun? Well, we we would just we'd have people back to the apartment just hanging out. Would you just watch TV? No, we. You know, because like when Eric said like if Eric was like yeah I had fun last night. I'd be like, oh, what'd you do? He'd be like, I watched Simpsons tapes and ate pizza. Right. Is that what you did? No. 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 But Eric's known about the parties that I've had. Well, what my... happened at the parties then with the girl who hit her head? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if she actually hit her head. Uh, listen, you don't get slow from hitting your shoulder, Well, she's you? just, I mean, maybe she was just slow to begin with. Maybe but that's she why had, she got in the accident. She had said that she was into a, a car accident. Right. Maybe she didn't know what that was. Right. Maybe she thought... Uh, that meant, you know, a dress. Maybe she was saying, I got into a dress this morning. Yeah. But we were just, we would party and just have fun. And well, what does that mean? Like, just go out for a, a cocktail? No, no, no. Like, you know, we'd come back and just party at the apartment, you know? Listen like, to music? Yeah. And just what? Hang talk? out? Talk? Do, do whatever? Whatever, man. <laughs> just have fun. 
Well, what does that mean, though? What does have fun? Like, what? Some, sometimes hook up. Sometimes, like specifically. What well, you know? Sexual intercourse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but some, have... sometimes it would be more of like an observational thing where. Oh, like like you'd bring her back and you'd all take turns with her. Well, I, some people just watch. So not everybody. You all take turns. And she with was, her. she wasn't the only one involved. I mean, there was other people. Not every other girls. Involved. Not everybody would take a turn. No, no. no. Eric, did you ever take a turn? Yeah. Did you take a turn with this one? The downy? No. No, she wasn't a downy. Were you? <laughs> she said. Oh, really? Eric said it's a. I mean, Troy said it's a girl who you know got into a little bit of a car accident. No. no. You didn't take a turn with her? No, I, I never met that one. No. Eric wasn't there for that. No, party? I don't think so. Would he have taken a turn with her? Yeah. Would he have cuddled after? Quite possibly. I mean, Cuddle if bunny. if we can learn from history. Yeah. You know, Eric, you used to go to Troy's crazy parties and cuddle with people. No. <laughs> yes. That was, that was one. <laughs> and that, there's a whole other thing that Troy doesn't want to talk about with, when it comes to that story. Why don't you want to talk about it? I don't know what it is. I'll talk about anything. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Why doesn't he want to talk about the it? The vagaries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More vagaries. Oh, he's talking about I'm, here. I'm, I'm telling Troy in his headphones if he's cool with it, then we'll talk about it. He's cool with it. You <laughs> hear you. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't on the air. All right. Yeah, yes, it was yeah, on the air. That's how we could hear it. Mike wasn't on. No, no we well, could hear the microphone. Yeah, it's uh, the magic of... So <laughs> Eric wants to know if it's okay because he doesn't know if certain girls were of age. Um, what Eric could have done was just told the story without mentioning age at all. Right. Instead of making this Well, no, because he wanted... He had, there was a part to the story that he thought that I didn't want to talk about, but I have no idea. What was the, was the good, juicy part that they weren't of age? Yeah, but we were also... But why would you even bring up that there was a part if that's the part? Because you wanted to talk about that again, and I didn't know if we should venture into that part. Oh, that's God. why I was asking him. <laughs> what goes on here, Troy? No. Well, stop asking about sex lives, and you won't have this problem, then. Ooh. I'm not going to stop asking about sex lives. It's not crazy for me to think that nobody's going to bring up whether somebody was of age or not. Yikes. Wow. Nathan. Wait. Where did derail? <laughs> What's he talking about, Nathan? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Not much, not much. I I lived up in New York, like just outside the city. He kind of knows who you're talking about. Did she live in like the Mayapack, uh, Yorktown Heights, Brewster area? She was in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a different girl. Oh, okay. We had a girl just like what you're talking about. Car accident, a <laughs> little bit slow after work, and just. Down for whatever. Of course she was. <laughs> You're taking advantage of somebody who's no. not. Get no. Get out of here. No, 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 no. She wanted to take advantage of you, but at the same time, she's a little off. I'd love, yeah. to, I'd love to know what her name is. Yeah? Can you? Can somebody put this dude on no, hold? No, I hung up on him. Oh, that, shit. Because then Eric will be like, well, there's some elements we don't want to talk yeah, about. I would him. love to know. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> Wasn't on the air. <laughs> yes. Then how did we all hear it? Did it really go over there? Or was it just through my headphones? No, we heard it. No, it was through your headphones, but your headphones are right by the microphone. So we yeah. heard oh, it okay. out right. the headphones into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whispering into the mic. It's, yeah. yeah, you know. It's so... yeah. <laughs> Susie McNasty. What's up, Dom? You're on After Obi and Anthony Live. Hey, Sam. This is a bunch of years ago, but... I met this chick, uh, I don't even remember, I think it was on the internet somehow, but mm -hmm. anyway, in conversation, I asked her, I said, so you like going dancing? She goes, no, I don't dance because I'm in a wheelchair, and I blew it off and everything. Well, she came down to visit me and everything, and sure as shit, and she was in a damn wheelchair, and I had to pick her up out of her wheelchair to bring her into the house, because I have got a set, I had a set of stairs on the house, and, you know, bring the wheelchair in and everything else, but the bad part is, <laughs> as if it could get worse. Yeah. I had to vacuum the house before my roommates came back because I didn't want them fucking with me about screwing a chick in a wheelchair. Because there were tire treads on the ground? Yeah, exactly. So we, this, you met this girl on the internet and she didn't mention she was in a wheelchair before she got to your house? That's it? You just nah. figured you'd go, yeah, exactly, and hang up the phone? Hmm. Did you ever... Uh... Fuck a girl in a wheelchair? Not a wheelchair, but my friend uh, just recently was so excited and was bragging to me that he fucked a midget. Oh. And he's been, he's been, he was really pursuing this chick because he wanted to fuck her. And then he just said she just got weird and said she wanted a relationship. But he had already fucked the midget, so that was he was finished then. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, mean, when you say he was really pursuing her, 
was that just because he wanted to be able to say, I've had sex with a midget? Yeah, I've had a lot of friends do that. There was a girl that was at the bar, and she had a fucked up hand. Yeah. That was like purple. We used to call her dead hand. <laughs> That's very clever of you guys. <laughs> and he wanted, this, this uh, dude wanted, he, his goal was to get jerked off by that hand. Did it happen? Did it go through? Uh, you know what? I know he fucked her, but she was very, um, she would hide the hand underneath the bed. And then she died, unfortunately. She's dead now. Yeah. So now she's just dead person. Yeah. Yeah. Where before? With, with Troy Jesner. No, no, no. That no, wasn't me. Did you fuck her body? No, no. I didn't fuck her. Have you ever fucked a corpse? No. Okay. That's something I mean, to I ask, though. I wouldn't have access to a corpse. There's a chick she wanted to pretend like she was dead once. This is a long time ago. No. Yeah, she just lay there. You like just, that? That was weird. It was weird, right? I, was, I mean, it's I was a hot. kid, so I didn't give a fuck. It's not know. hot. I, 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 anything was hot. You know, I was a teenager. How old were you? Yeah, I was teenager. 16, whatever. Something like that. And she wanted to pretend she was... Was she like a goth chick? Not really. Like a phony goth chick. Like a chick who has a nose ring, so she's goth. So know? she probably wasn't even really into it. She just wanted to do something shocking. Yeah, you know. Oh, I'm just gonna lay there. Fuck me like I'm dead, you know? And you were like, hey, like yeah, right. I'm, yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna hear the fuck me part. Like, yeah. like, like I'm dead. That, that, that's inconsequential. It's still probably two degrees better than jerking off. So I guess you do it, right? It's like you're jerking off with a body. You, I, I, it's the flashlight, is what it is. There's yeah. a flashlight on I this know, girl. Everybody knows how uh, how big of a fan I am of those. You love them. You They're, love them. I can't stop fucking them things. You still doing? Ah, nah. Because uh, you're in a relationship. Well, yeah, I got a relationship, and like you know, you can't really. You got to clean those things up once you're done. You're, is that what it is? Laziness? You don't want yeah. to. Yeah. Like you're sitting there, like, oh, I could jerk myself off with this flashlight. But well, no, 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 then no, no. I have to clean it well, after. But, no, no, it's more so that if you don't clean it after, oh boy. Have you fu have you fucked a flashlight that's dirty? Uh, probably yeah. Mm. I probably you know what I think I've done I've I've definitely done like I've I've cream pied in a in a flashlight and yeah. then just said fuck it and went for it again. Oh, <laughs> that's gross. Why it's mine? Yeah. But then, isn't your jizz like touching you? So what? You wouldn't care. Not my jizz. I like, mean, if oh, I used I, I, the flashlight I, after Danny was done, I'd be like, oh, dude, I wish so you fucking cleaned it So, like, I'm jerking out. off on my back, and then it burbles over onto my dick, and now I'm like, oh, gross, get it off, get it off, yeah, get it off, get it off. No, okay. but, no, no, no. It's okay if it gurbles back onto your dick. <laughs> but then Who was talking about the war? But then, but then you don't use that as lube next time. Like, you don't just leave it on and just start greasing yourself up with it. Whatever. Well, there's no receptacle to keep it all in a nice, uh, it's like clean space. It's like you're bathing in your own filth. I don't know why people get so grossed out over jizz. It's yours. Did you ever taste it? Yeah, of course. Your own? Yes. What do you mean, of course? Yes. What does it taste like? Cum. Yeah. I don't know what cum tastes like. It's like mucusy. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, what was the context in which you tasted it? Which time? Ooh. How many times have you tasted it? <laughs> uh, a couple times. What was what was your favorite? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like the wording on it. Probably, probably after being snowballed. Okay, so tell me how snowballing works. Well, I mean, you finish in somebody's mouth and they give they give it to you. So you came in a girl's mouth. Yeah. After she was blowing you. Yeah. And then she comes up to your mouth and open mouth kisses you so that your cum. Yeah, now, she wanted to do her, it. I was like, right. Your well, cum it. goes from her mouth into your mouth. Yeah, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. You liked it. I've dr drank my own piss before. I've I've never eaten my own shit, but. Did you think that when she, when your cum went into your mouth was that like sexy? Uh, it was pretty. It was a hot scenario. Yeah. Yeah. So what about I, the other time? Uh, there's been times where, you know, you're just jerking off and it's just flying up in the air and it just... You just catch it, catch it right in your mouth like it's a pretzel. No, well, not like it's a pretzel, but it just lands <laughs> there and you're like... Ow, like an M&M. &M. Yeah. Yeah. Like a pretzel. So then yeah. you're just like, well, I mean, it's there, it's on my lip, might as well just see what it tastes like. Right. What? So it lands on your lip and you just kind of lick it right off there? Yeah. Mm, that's actually pretty but good. Yeah, if there's a hair in this sandwich, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, like, maybe that's not his hair. No, it's, it's, it's my hair. Because he's complaining because it's not a pube. <laughs> I'm surprised to learn you've been snowballed. I'm glad I have that information, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I guess you, you've had a lot of experiences. I like to have fun. I think that's a great quality in a person. You know, whatever. You know? I mean, I'm and, up for a new experience. But you're very anti-anything gay-ish. I just, I have no interest in, in... Like, you wouldn't do a threesome with two guys. With you and another guy and a chick. I, I mean, I have. You have? Yes. Did you touch the guy? No. Would you, in the middle of the threesome, just rub the guy a bit, not to complete No, no. I've told, I've told the story on this show, or maybe it was the other show, that the, I was I was DP in this chick with, with my old roommate. Right. I remember this story. What was the name of the movie? <laughs> it wasn't in a movie. Oh. And we bumped bags, and it was, like, completely yeah. deflated. Wow. And both of us, it was like, yeah, no, that's that's not. Well, that's you know not what that work. means. 
You must be gay. I mean, that's that's all I can gather from that. We have to. Uh, I would be gay. From <laughs> I think that? so. I think so. Ron and Fez are coming up next. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, we're out of time already. We're out of time. Oh, wow. uh, we didn't take a lot of breaks today. Uh, we'll have more of this how, tomorrow. How are you doing? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. 